Yes, yeah, so Dancing with the Stars, how was that experience for you? It's like- the most frightening thing I've ever been involved with. I stopped being scared at about 22 years old of anything until Dancing with the Stars. It's the most frightening experience I've ever been through. And why is that? Because, because you've got just- 40 million people at home watching the television, you know, you know, doing what I was doing every day, which mm-hmm. is saying, that guy can't dance. <laughs> Um, well, you know what? I'm sure after this you will be fantastic and you'll be teaching everybody else how to dance. Not true, but thank you. <laughs> Sounds good though, right? Yeah. Now, Runaway Train, I always think of the name of the song, obviously, Soul Soul Train. It was a group back in the 90s and Runaway Train, I love that song. But anyway, what is the title? What was behind the title for that? How did you come up with Runaway Train? Well, it was in Cadmore nomination for me mm-hmm. and the publisher after reading the uh, the draft of the book, said, you are a runaway train. Can we call the book that? So it's double on time. Um, what have you learned the most about the industry over the years? I know it's a tough industry, but you've survived it. You've done some incredible work. What has been one of the biggest lessons you've learned, I guess, up until now about yourself and where you are at now in your career? Uh, you need to treat everybody you meet like they're going to be your boss next week because they might be. And they could be. They That's could be your boss on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> and one last question. What is your advice for upcoming actors, filmmakers in the industry that want to get into this business? I know you probably meet a lot of actors that ask you advice. I have the same advice there. You, you treat everybody like they're going to be your boss next week because they might be. Nice. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it.